Hey, what's up photographers? In this demonstration, I'm gonna compare Lightroom Classics Generative AI Retouching Tool and compare it against On One Photo Raw 2025. So let's get started. The photo in front of me, or the two photos in front of me, the one on the left is with Lightroom Classic. The ones on the right are with On One Photo Raw. I had to use a split screen so you can see the comparisons in real time. You may have a hard time viewing this on your YouTube screen. So you may need to see this video or watch it in uh, full view or full screen. So this photo on the left, I took it in uh, Panama. It's a modern or contemporary museum. And I didn't do any editing to these photos. So you can see the perspective is off. And you'll see in some of the other photos, there's not much contrast or uh, saturation. But that doesn't matter. I'm just going to uh, demonstrate or compare the uh, generative AI tools. So I'm going to get started with this one on the left with the uh, Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to go to the generative AI tool brush here, make sure it's selected and use generative AI is checked. So I'll make sure I have a nice brush size and I'll start removing these people right here. I'll remove that. I'll remove these people, this lady. This lady here, this person here, make sure to get a little bit of the shadows. Actually, it looks like I'm missing some of the shadows here as well. Here as well. That's fine. Now it looks good. So I'll click on remove and Gen AI does take a few seconds to process in uh, Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to go on to On One Photo Raw. I'm going to click on the eraser tool right here and make sure generate eraser is selected. And for the model, I'm going to keep it on local gen AI, which doesn't require a subscription or an API key. I will use the stability AI later. Originally, I wasn't planning to use stability AI or sign up for an API key because it costs money and I don't want to sign up for it. But just to compare Lightroom Classic versus On One Photo Raw 2025 and their generative AI tools, I did need to sign up for it, but I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just stick it on local gen AI for now. And I'll start painting over these people here. Make sure I select the shadows as well. Now, one thing that On One Photo Raw recommends is that you clean up an object or something that you don't want one at a time. So I'm kind of going against their own instructions. But if I do it that way, it'll just take too long. So I'm not going to do it that way. And then I'll click on this green button to remove these people. So anyways, going back to Lightroom Classic on the left, if you look here, the Gen AI did a pretty good job. I mean, if you look very carefully, you may be able to find some inconsistencies, but for the natural eye, it looks pretty good. I'm sure some of these photos were removed. But let me see the before and after. Yeah, so you can see some of the photos were removed, which is fine. There's a little bit of inconsistency here it looks like which is fine other than that you can't really notice it let me zoom out and i'm going to actually clean up this part right here so you can see there's like a rail here or a fence guard so i'm going to paint over this and let's see what it does here and i'll click on remove Anyways, going back to this image, the local Gen AI on On One Photo Raw did an okay job. You can see there's some inconsistency right here. Let me go to the hand tool and zoom in. So it doesn't look as good as Lightroom Classics Generative AI. And you can see it's messed up a little bit here on these pillars and these photos. So what I'm going to do is going to remove this layer by the way gen ai in on one photo raw creates a layer so i'm going to delete this layer and instead what i'm going to do is go back to the eraser tool or the well the gen ai eraser tool and make sure it's selected and then i'm going to go to stability ai and stability ai should do a better job but we'll see one thing i could do is better increase or decrease the brush size while I'm brushing over the shadows, but I want to do this quick. 
because Gen AI is supposed to make your photography workflow quicker. So that looks good. Let me remove that. And going back to Lightroom Classic, you can see it did a pretty good job on the fence right here. Whoops. Let me undo that or redo it. Okay, I messed that up. So let me paint over again. And remove it. And what's happening with Stability AI? Is it processing? Let me make sure I click on this. Okay. So now it's processing. Anyways, going back to Lightroom Classic on this photo here, it did a pretty good job of removing that. What was it? A vacuum that was there? A vacuum or a vacuum on a printer or something like that or a desk. But anyways, it's gone. It did a pretty good job. And with Gen AI and Lightroom Classic, I'm pretty satisfied. There's this light spot here. Let's see what was there before. Okay, so it was already there which is fine. Now going back to on one photo raw, this image looks a lot better. Let me go to the hand tool. Let me zoom in. And you can see it's a lot better. There's a little bit of inconsistency here, but the inconsistency is here as well. So that looks like it's a reflection. So you can see this line. It kind of messed up on the background of this photo here. Let me uncheck this. So the thing with generative AI and the stability AI model in on one photo raw is it does kind of sometimes mess up parts of an image that you don't want it to be messed up or it doesn't correct it correctly compared to Lightroom Classic when you look at these background photos that are on these pillars. And let's see what it does with this well, whatever this is here, I'm going to go back to the Gen AI eraser tool, make sure it's selected. I'm on stability AI. I'll decrease the brush and I'll paint over it. Keep in mind while I'm correcting these and if Gen AI doesn't work, sometimes you'll need to use layers or cloning to get a different, to do a better job of cleaning up. But of course, that's the old way of doing it. And Actually, it did a pretty good job here removing that objects or those few objects. So I'm pretty impressed or satisfied with the Gen AI stability AI model here in removing these objects here. So anyways, I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to go to this image here and go to this image here. So here I want to remove all the road, the road area here, the road and these cars. And there's a little bit of, there's a few people here. So I'm going to clean all that up. So I'm still on this generative AI brush in Lightroom Classic. So I'll remove this road, paint here, paint here. And just remember, this is not the greatest painting job I'm doing. It's very quick. It's a little bit inaccurate, but it gives a good demonstration of the Gen AI tools. So I painted over here. This is in Jasper National Park, by the way. This is a, looks like a, what is it called? A glacier that's coming. And let's take a look at this image. It did a pretty decent job. You can see there's a little bit of inconsistency here. It's soft at this part, but it's more detailed here. So this is one of these images that you may need to use like cloning to retouch or use Gen AI a few times to try it and clean it up. But if you look at it from far away, it looks pretty good. Now going back to this image here, let me go to the Gen AI tool. I'll use local Gen AI first. I'll brush over here. I'll brush this brush here. I'll increase the size a little bit here of the brush. Clean this up. Clean this and let's take a look. I will click on the green button here to accept the change. Now let's see how it does. You can see I actually missed this sign here, but it didn't do as much of a great job as I wanted. So anyways, I'll just click on accept. 
I'll delete this layer. And then I'll go back to the Gen AI tool and I'll select Stability AI. And then I'll paint over this area again. And let's see, and I'll clean this up. I'll click on the green right here. And it'll just take a few seconds to process. Okay, so Stability AI looks a little bit better. But you can see this area here, right in the middle, it's very soft. But here it's more detailed. Like you wouldn't notice it if you're not like a photo editing genius or if you're not a photographer, but you can see the inconsistency. Gen AI is a little bit better in Lightroom Classic when you're removing a lot of objects or something large that you don't want to root that you don't want there but let's go to an even harder image that i think is this image here and it's the same landscape but just from a different angle so i'll start with the image on the left one thing you'll notice is the rendering of these files you can see a lot more automatic contrast or saturation added to this image here compared to this image this one, these, this image is a CR2 or Canon RAW file. But anyways, I'm going to start cleaning this image up. I'll use a larger brush. I'll get rid of all of this. I'll get rid of this. That looks good. I'll remove that. And now I'll go to On One Photo RAW. Click the Genai Eraser brush. It's on Stability AI. Increase the brush size and start painting over this. Okay, I'll click on the green button to accept it. And it does take a few seconds. So on the left hand side, you can see what uh, Lightroom Classic did. It did an okay job, but this little piece of snow here, it doesn't make sense. So let me just reset this image and let me try again. Actually, I believe there was options to select different Gen AI, Gen AI models, so I should have done that. Let me double check if it comes up. I'll just click here, clean it up, remove it. So here on On One Photo Raw, the Gen AI stability model did a pretty good job. Let's see here, there's a little bit of inconsistency here around this area, but you would need to use, I guess, clone stamping to clean it up with layers, but it's a pretty good job. Here you can see Lightroom Classic with the Gen AI on the left-hand side. It did an okay job, and this is what I was talking about, the variations. You can click on this to make it choose a different option. This is really good. This variation here compared to this. Or I can choose this next one, see how it is. This one looks okay as well, but I think number two out of three looks the best. And for this image on the right, as I said, on one photo raw, it did do a really good job. You would need to do some local masking to add some more detail or so forth. But just from my experience using Gen AI with Lightroom on one photo raw, as well as other software, I, found, I find Lightroom Classic's uh, Gen AI retouching tool really good. The one thing that Lightroom Classic doesn't have or I wasn't able to find is like crop extension or cropping or making the image larger with generative AI. Whereas On One Photo Raw does have it, but it's very, it's very limited. Anyways, what do you guys think of this uh, retouching tool in Lightroom Classic or in uh, On One Photo Raw? Make sure to leave your comments below. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.